Imagine a world where humans are not the only species walking on two legs and using tools. Thousands of years ago, there were other types of humans living alongside us, some with brains larger than ours, some with small hobbit-like frames, and others who shared our planet but were very different from us. These other humans, like Neanderthals, Denisovans, and the tiny Homo florensis, were part of the fascinating and complex story of human evolution. While Homo sapiens, which are us, are the only surviving species today, these non-sapiens humans were once our cousins, and studying them gives a glimpse into the rich diversity of life on Earth before we became the dominant species. From Neanderthals with their strong stocky builds to the mysterious Denisovans who left behind only their DNA, the story of these early humans is full of surprises that challenge what we know about evolution, survival and our place in the world. The study of non-sapiens humans offers fascinating insights into human evolution. These species and subspecies of early humans coexisted with or preceded modern humans and their stories help us understand where we came from and how we evolved. The first one of them is Neanderthals. They lived from 4 lakh years ago to 40,000 years ago. They used to live in Europe, parts of Western Asia and the Middle East. Neanderthals were a close cousin of Homo sapiens and lived in Eurasia long before the rise of modern humans. They were the dominant human species in Europe during ice ages, well adapted to the cold climates. Neanderthals had a robust build with short thick limbs to conserve heat which helped them survive in cold environments. They had large bro ridges and wide noses, possibly to help warm up cold dry air before it reached their lungs. Neanderthals had slightly larger brains on average than modern humans, though their brains were structured differently. They were strong and physically powerful, suited to hunting large animals. Neanderthals crafted sophisticated stone tools and were skilled hunters. Evidence suggests that they lived in small family-based groups and cared for their elderly and injured, as seen in fossil evidence where individuals had healed from serious injuries. Neanderthals are thought to have had some form of ritualistic behavior, including burying their dead, sometimes with grave goods. However, it is debated whether this was a sign of religious beliefs or simply a form of respect. Genetic evidence shows that Neanderthals interbred with early modern humans and some modern humans of non-African descent carry traces of Neanderthal DNA, about 1 or 2 percent. The exact reason for Neanderthal extinction is unclear but may involve a combination of climate change, competition with Homo sapiens and possibly disease. They disappeared around 40,000 years ago, roughly around the time Homo sapiens spread across Europe. Another fascinating species were Denisovans. They evolved 2 lakh years ago and disappeared 50,000 years ago. Their fossils have been discovered in Siberia and other parts of Asia. Denisovans were a subspecies of humans known primarily from genetic evidence rather than fossilized bones. The first Denisovan remains were discovered in 2008 in the Denisova cave in Siberia, where scientists found a finger bone and later teeth and a jaw bone. They lived alongside Neanderthals and early Homo sapiens but were geographically separated. Little is known about the exact appearance of Denisovans. Since no complete skeletons have been found, but genetic studies suggest they may have had a robust physique similar to Neanderthals. Molecular evidence suggests that Denisovans were skilled tool makers and may have shared some cultural practices with Neanderthals. Denisovans interbred with both Neanderthals and Homo sapiens. Some modern populations, particularly in East Asia, have Denisovan ancestry, with 5% of the genomes of some individuals from these regions being Denisovan. A Denisovan gene linked to high altitude adaptation was found in Tibetan populations, providing strong evidence of Denisovan's genetic legacy in modern humans. Another very fascinating species was Homo florescens, also called as the, hab the hobbits. They evolved around 1 lakh years ago and went extinct to about 50,000 years ago. 
where were they discovered they were discovered on flores which is an island in indonesia who were the homo florenses homo florenses often called as hobbits were a species of human known for their small size they lived on the island of flores in indonesia and were discovered in 2003 They were small bodied and had a height of about 3.5 feet or 1.1 meters which led to their nickname despite their small stature they had human like features but with a brain size which was closer to that of an ape despite being human their brains were about the size of a chimpanzee's yet they were capable of making tools and hunting they were small probably due to their island dwarfism a phenomenon where animals evolved to be smaller on islands due to limited resources they had a combination of primitive and advanced traits with features resembling homo habilis and homo erectus fossils of stone tools suggest that homo florensis were capable hunters and gatherers evidence shows that they used fire little is known about their social organization but their ability to hunt large prey like giant rats and komodo dragons suggest a level of cooperation within their groups homo florensis likely went extinct around 50000 years ago possibly due to competition with us or environmental changes some believe they might have survived longer but there is no clear evidence to suggest that they were still around at the time of early modern humans what were the other homo species one of them was homo habilis often considered the first species of homo genus Homo habilis lived around 2.1 to 1.5 million years ago and is thought to have used simple stone tools. Another is Homo erectus, an important evolutionary link. Homo erectus existed around 1.9 million years ago to 1,43,000 years ago and they were likely the first humans to use fire and create complex tools. They also migrated out of Africa, settling in places like Asia and Europe. you can see some examples of homo homo erectus another one is homo naledi discovered in south africa this species lived around 335000 years to 236000 years ago and exhibited a mix of primitive and modern features studying these non sapiens humans is key to understanding human evolution and how modern humans came to be Evidence of interbreeding with Neanderthals and Denisovans shows how closely tied we are to these other hominin species. The diverse physical and behavioral traits of these humans reflect the incredible ability of our ancestors to adapt to different environments from cold northern Europe to tropical islands. Learning about their tools, survival strategies and social organization helps us understand how early humans lived and evolved. together these species highlight the diversity and adaptability of early human ancestors with homo sapiens emerging as the last surviving member of this fascinating family tree they also remind us that the journey of human evolution is far from simple straight line thank you so much for listening